Oh my gosh, what? Look at the animation. Oh my gosh, I just did a little fly. So you could kind of argue that fairies already exist in Sims. If you've been to the Sylvian Glade using this tree here, then you will know that there are some little glowing orbs in the bushes. If you look closely, they kind of have a humanoid form. And you can also hear them giggling, kind of like a childlike giggle as well if you get close enough. However, you can't really argue that they are fully formed fairies. There's not a bunch of functionality and a lot of people were pretty disappointed about the fact that there weren't any fairies in The Sims 4 until now. Actually, until three months ago, I'm a little bit slow to this mod, but if you've never heard about it either, then it's news to all of our ears and it's totally fine. I have had a kind of busy three months. So today we're going to be checking out the Sims 4 Fairies versus Witches mod from Spinning Plum Bobs. I'm going to drop a link to this in the description below as well. This is uploaded on Patreon, but it's actually a free uh, download now. It's been on Patreon for a little while, um, so it has switched to free. And it is a pretty impressive mod based on what I've read through so far. And I've watched a little bit of a gameplay walkthrough just so I know what I'm doing because it's also quite a complex mod, but in the best possible way. So what is the mod? This mod adds a bunch of extra stuff. There's new cast items, over 100 new animations, buy mode objects, custom sounds, and lots of gameplay. And as you guys know, gameplay is something that I'm constantly searching for with mods because I just don't feel like there's quite enough I like more gameplay to my game, which is why I use stuff like Slice of Life on MCC and just basically try and make the game a little bit deeper. This mod tries to do that with um, some of the occults. So it is inspired by stuff like Witch, Winx Club and Sailor Moon. It does revamp the Sylvian Glade, which we'll be checking out. It adds some new objects that will grant us some new functionality. And it adds two entirely like revamped occults to the game. So first of all, is fairies. One of the titular occult beings included this mod is a fairy. Fairies are whimsical creatures that we enjoy flying here, there, and tend to leave a trail of glitter everywhere they go. However, in the normal world, it's important to blend in. So they have the ability to repress their magic and appear as a human. Not only that, but many aspects of the fairy form are completely customizable. When I ditch the glitter, it's gone. Do you want to change your wings up? You can do. And they're diverse creatures that can look however you want. And just like they have unique features, they also have unique powers and abilities. Practicing their fairy magic will unlock various spells that can be learned from a special spell book. And there is also an updated version of the witches called. Now, obviously, witches already exist in Sims in terms of like the spell casters. However, a lot of people weren't massively impressed with spell casters. They wanted something a little bit deeper. Maybe something that, you know, kind of played with where magic sources came from. Something a little bit darker and grittier, which is what the other half of this mod is. But because this mod is so broad and adds so much new stuff, today we're going to focus on the fairies. And then I'm going to do another look into the second half of this mod, which will focus on witches. Especially if you guys like this half of the mod enough, please let me know if you would like me to cover off the witches as well. So I think the best way to learn about this is by playing. And of all my Sims that, um, you know, have had magical abilities, I was like, which one to me feels the most like she would make a very cute fairy? And I have to say, it's probably someone like Nita. So I thought we would use Nita for this mod. And the first thing that you want to do if you want to start your journey towards becoming a fairy is get one of the new items with this mod pack. So I'm going to search for fairy and I'm going to be adding this. The giving fairy, this charming statue, is a delightful addition to any garden. It's said that this young fairy offering her open hand brings good energy to nearby foliage, encouraging growth and vitality. And some even say she provides other gifts. So I am going to go ahead and pop this in the garden. I kind of feel like anything to do with fairies. It would be nice to have like a little, you know, fairy ring around it in case I might, I might just spray one. Because, you know, there's a lot to be said for fairies and interesting little fairy rings like so. So we've already got flowers growing in a little circle around this statue. And then it does actually increase the growth state of your plants as well. So this, of course, isn't really necessary, but... um. I like plants, as you guys probably know. So I thought it would be nice to add, make this area look a little bit more whimsical. Of course, you don't have to do this. It's not going to impact the uh, functionality of the table. It's just cute though, right? Okay, so I'm not sure how long it takes for the plants to be influenced by the statue, but I thought it would be kind of nice just to uh, plant a few of them anyway. And we'll see if we can show it off during the duration that we're trying out this mod. We can place an item on the statue as well. So I'm not sure if the quality of the plant affects this or not, but I'm going to go ahead and offer a bluebell because I think they're really pretty and bees like them. And bees have wings and so do fairies. So I don't know, it feels like it could make sense. A train of logic there, just go with me on this. Okay, so there we go. Can you see this? 
We're already... Oh, wow, the animation's so nice. What? That green glow around it and the, like, leaves flying out is kind of like the statue having an impact on the flowers. The other thing that I am going to do is before I get any further into this, Nita obviously is already currently a spellcaster, but you cannot be a fairy and another occult. It's very much you have to be a fairy or nothing else. So I'm actually just going to nip into MCC and go to the occult commands and I'm going to humanize her. So she is no longer a spellcaster, but that's fine because with this mod, there are far more interesting things you can be than spellcasters now. So we've gone ahead and made our offering. I am going to go ahead and admire the statue and you know see if anything particularly interesting happens is what we've given enough i don't know if it will be if not i have some other flowers to try so it's not the end of the world <gasps> okay there we go yep we've noticed something our eyes were glowing there and nita suddenly sees a vision of the most beautiful glen she has ever seen bathed in sunlight and hears the faint sound of whimsical laughter echoing through the meadow what should she do? Now, she can shake it off and we'll never go any further into this, never explore any further. So if you did just like the idea of a statue boosting your plants, you don't have to become a fairy. But why would you not? Why would you not? So we're going to go and head in. Can you see the flowers growing already? And boom, we've just fallen into a portal in the ground. Scary or wonderful? Let's find out. Okay, so we are in the Sylvian Glade. Uh <laughs> Uh, and this is the pumpkin fairy. Okay, yes. Yeah, so straight away, we can see fairies everywhere, which is great. However, fairy wings, as with all things that you add as accessories on cars, as CC, can sometimes interfere with the other objects. And because we're carrying a pumpkin, we have become the pumpkin fairy. I mean, it's the 1st of November, so I don't know if it's needed. So I'm just going to change you into one of your other outfits. There we go. Okay. I really need to do a CC clean, but the wings are already making much more sense. And there are a few fairies hanging around instantly, which is very cool. They're spawning in all of these glade fairies. And you can see that when fairies walk, they don't. They float, they fly because they have wings. However, this fairy right here has a book. He is a little bit of more special fairy. He is the ethereal guardian. So we're gonna go and greet this fairy right here because he's got this book. He's clearly a little bit more special. He's the fairy to know. And the new animations are so nice. Watch him like, oh, he was. He has a book in his hand and he can like flick it into the air and it floats. And I don't know. I just think it looks really, really cool. And there's his like silver wings as well. So we're gonna get to know him because, um, oh, what a surprise the other fairies will be pleased to see a visitor in our oh my gosh <laughs> oh jeez okay i will i i promise i promise i will clean out my cc folder because this is just a little bit much she also has bubble gum our other fairies will be pleased to see a visitor in our presence please make yourself at home introduce yourself to the others and enjoy your visit so they're not shocked or scared that a human has made their way here they're actually kind of pleasantly interested maybe they can wipe our brains afterwards and make us forget i don't know and this is the closest by the way we ever got to fairies before so it's definitely a pretty vast improvement. So we've chatted with Anil for a little while. I am going to go over and say, what is this place? And also see what other new interactions we can do with him. This is the land of the fairies. You call it Sylvian Glade. It's a magical realm. But all are welcome so long as they respect our home. Certain folks are not welcome, but we need not worry about them. So the mod is witches versus fairies or fairies versus witches. So you can kind of, there's already a little bit of lore building up here. And we can compliment the wings as well because let's face it they are very beautiful and there is also this new wheel interaction here fairy which means i can talk about fairy tales compliment the wings which i've already done or ask about becoming a fairy so this kind of interaction here the ask about because oh my gosh becoming a fairy is something that you do need to be friends with a sim in order to have a successful interaction or else they will just say like no you i don't know you well enough but we do know him. We are already his friend. So he says, if you look around the forest, you may be able to find a, tr a sprite. Try talking to it and you might find yourself on its good side. If it sees that you are worthy, it may allow you to become a fairy. For the wet record, compliments will get you major brownie points. So, I mean, we already complimented his wings as well. Maybe the fae in this are kind of like, you know, they are sort of vain. They maybe kind of like compliments. Fairies are also, you're never meant to... Like, they're quite tricksy, aren't they? You're not meant to make a deal with a fairy. But we're going to go and try and find ourselves a sprite. 
I really like the Sylvian Glade. I wish the build area of the Sylvian Glade was bigger because I would quite happily live here. But as I discovered before, I think you can only build here and you're constantly in the shade. It's not ideal. <laughs> It is a little bit sad. But we're going to try and find ourselves a sprite. Right now, um, there's a lot of cute things floating in the air. There's a little teeny tiny fairy there. I don't know what that mod makes. Maybe they're a different species of fairy. I do not know. Soon they will be my cousins. But a sprightly surprise. Need to find a sprite. Try and get on its good side by talking to it or giving it compliments. I'm going to compliment the sprite. You are so glowy. Just honestly, a gorgeous level of glow to you. Beautiful wings. Very flappy, wonderful, gorgeous. I'm going to try and layer it on thick, give it a few compliments and see if it will bring up any new interactions about becoming a fairy. <gasps> Nita has made a good enough impression on the sprites. Ask it a favor. Try making a wish and seeing what happens. I can also ask it to follow me, which is quite cool. But we are going to... Ooh. So you can wish for different things. I can ask for intelligence, for wealth for a child, for a romantic connection, or I can wish to become a fairy. I kind of want to know what happens with the other stuff, but I'm going to ask to become a fairy. Please, can you make me a fairy? Look at my cute hair. Oh, okay, I think it said yes. Oh my gosh, words. Look at the animation. Is that it? Am I now fairy girl? Oh my gosh, I just did a little fly. Oh, that's so freaking cool. Nita has become a pixie level fairy. The fairy magic is now at level two. Check out my fairy handbook to learn new spells, which I don't think we currently have yet. And I'm a pixie level fairy. There's a long journey ahead with more powers to be gained before she reaches her full potential. In the meantime, she should practice her fairy magic, win power spa sessions and magic and battles, and learn more spells and abilities in order to progress her fairy form. And we've jumped right into the pages of a fantasy book and become a mystical fairy. As a fairy, Nita will have to learn fantastical spells and magical abilities. With great practice and determination, she will be able to achieve new forms that will unlock even more powers. A copy of the fairy handbook will help keep track of her progress. The ethereal garden of the Sylvian Glade may even have one to spare. We should keep using, uh, keep our magical skills sharp as they'll be very useful in fights against our powerful rivals. Okay. So let me head back over to... Ooh. Oh, they're growing the plants with their fairy abilities. That's so cute. Where is the ethereal guardian? Okay, here he is. So should we ask about fairy form with him? I can initiate a magical battle. Don't feel like that's going to go very well. And also ask for this fairy handbook. And if I look down at my needs, it looks like a spell casters again. But there is going to be a difference. And I'll show you guys it when we get to it. So I'm kind of floating over. Although I don't currently have a set of wings. But I am going to be able to apply those in cast. So I will do that in just a moment. Time. And Anil is Ethereal Guardian level fairy. That sounds pretty high. And hmm, I suppose I could spare a coffee of the fairy handbook. You seem like a decent fairy, and I'd hate for you to go without guidance. Here you go. So now we have this fairy handbook. I can use it to study fairy magic, learn spells, or I can open it and have a little investigation. So I now can hold it like exactly the same as Anil. Mine doesn't float though. Mine currently is just held in my hand, which is a little bit disappointed, but I suppose I will improve over time. And then here is the fairy handbook. So all fairies are unique with different spells and magical abilities to keep track of. Here, all of these mystical exploits are recorded for your convenience. As these powers grow, this handbook will reflect those changes to see what your powers can become. So fairy forms. We are currently a pixie. Inexperienced and ready to learn, pixies are just starting their path to become fully fledged fairies. We can level up to nymph and then myst uh, mythic, enchanted fae, and then ethereal guardian, which is what he is. There is also magical abilities here as well. So rescind power source, level headed, studious, magic mentor, teleportation, dryad, source master, Muse, Fairy Dust, and Healing Dust. But a lot of these require really like specific levels of ability and we're not really high enough to use any of them yet. And if you look at some of these as well, look. So it requires me to level up, but it also requires me to use air, darkness, electricity, fire, or an ice power source. So the other part of this mod is power sources. So when you are a fairy, you have to get your power from a specific source. And some of the ones there are listed, air, darkness, electricity, fire, or ice. There's also one from plants as well, 
which is pretty cool. So that's a nature fairy. Like, this is what I mean. It's quite a deep mod. There is a lot to learn. And there are also spells completely separate from magical abilities. So we can see what their names them are. Keratin, Conversion, Ivy Wrap, Morbus, Sana, Incendia, Flora, Vitalis, Herba, Partum, Herba, Incrementum, Liberate, Reflecto, Reflectio, Surge, Mystify, Exemplum, Frost Affix, Chirocast, Oh my gosh, there's so many. Doppelganger Conjuration. Some of these do sound similar to the Spellcaster abilities, but some of them maybe sound a bit different as well. Tone Deaf and Cleanse, Harmonize, Attitude Aurora, Aqua Mutatio, Sangus, V. Oh my gosh, my pronunciation on these, I swear. Sangius Vietum, Imponent, Impotentia Curse. Medusa's Gaze, Somnium, and Exorcal. So there's a lot. However, I can't do any of them yet because I'm only a pixie. So I need to improve my fairy form. But also, I would kind of like to have a fairy form too. So let's go ahead and... Can I put my wings on? I feel like her wings should be showing because when I hover over them, I can see them. But for some reason, right now, they are invisible. And we're not currently repressing our magic, which is an option you can do to make your wings hide. So I'm assuming that they are having some kind of conflict with other things that she's got going on. So I'm going to go ahead and go into cast, put the wings on myself. Okay, so here are the different wings options that come with the game. We've got like butterfly-esque wings in lots and lots of different colors and styles. Those ones, I love these ones. These are like almost like have a Tinkerbell sort of feel to them. They're basically very, very pretty wings. We also have some more cheeky wings as well very very cool and oh look at those ones as well we've also got these kinds of wings so a little bit smaller a little bit softer very like see-through which i like a lot oh rainbow wings oh my gosh and these are like okay so it's the same wing but without the see-through ability and this is a smaller version okay so it's the same wings as before but a slightly smaller version of them and then this is a smaller version of that one okay so we've got like these two distinct wings with different sizes and then these distinct wings with different sizes and also different visibilities. But what you can also do is have these wings here, which you can't see when I'm in cast because from what I understand, this is the mesh without the... Oh, it's a texture without the mesh so that when I repress my fairy ability, you can't see the wings. But then when I don't repress it, you can see them. So I'm hoping that this is going to work. It's hard for me to tell because I can't see them, but fingers crossed. And then these outfits also come with it too, which I just thought were very cute. So I'm going to go for this fairy dress right here. And if your feet are on the ground, is there any point wearing shoes? I don't think so. Right, let's check and see if this works. Okay, so let's fairy form channel fairy magic. Okay, channel our fairy magic and hopefully we will have wings. Does it work? It does look like a little fairy transformation. Oh my gosh, look. Okay. How does she look so gorgeous, beautiful, amazing? This is now a fairy form. And we can float around into... Oh my gosh, pumpkin fairy, babes. You need to go away. There's... Oh, there's two more pumpkin fairies. Okay, let's just... Let's just float away from them. Let's go fly over here. Oh, look at that. Oh, what? Oh, oh, jeez, be careful. Okay, I'm still getting used to the wings, let's face it. I can also do some other fairy things, like I can backflip. Oh, oh, what? That looks... Oh, okay, I have to see that again. Oh, that's so cool. So these are all the new animations, and I can float. Oh, oh my gosh, what? This is the coolest thing ever. And now I too float around. I look so confident and happy right now. And uh, there is a plant here. I am going to go ahead and draw power source from nature. So I'm going to use this wild bluebell plant, which is kind of ironic because that's how I first got here in the first place. Through the power of bluebells. And instead, I'm going to use it to try and get some nature magic. And if I go to here, this little bar here should hopefully start filling. There it is. So this is no longer like your charge when you're a spellcaster. This is like your fairy experience. 
So fairies possess inherent abilities depending on their source of power, but the most substantial spells are acquired and used while channeling pure fairy magic. In this state, they are able to use their full set of powers to gain experience that will allow them to learn even more spells and abilities. So I'm thinking this probably doesn't hurt the plan. It feels like they're trying to show that fairies are like inherently good for the most part, maybe. I mean, I know fairies are meant to be a little bit cheeky, but we're getting our power from nature, which feels nice, you know? And there we go. Nature calls. Nita has successfully tapped into the power of nature. Forget a green thumb. All of Nita's fingers bring life and magic to any plant they touch. All aspects of nature speak to her and they are her source of magic. So I'm currently channeling nature magic, but I can't still use any spells yet until I increase my fairy XP. So I'm going to study some fairy magic <gasps> and my book now floats. Look at that. I'm studying. So when you study, you do the whole floaty book thing and look very magical. I'm going to have to just make these. These fairies are cracking me up. Oh my God. What is that? What are you? What kind of wings are those? What? <laughs> oh man. Okay. So we've now reached fairy magic level three. Does that unlock any new spells for us? Or do we need to do a few jewels? I can initiate a magical battle. I can practice. <gasps> okay, so there we go. Um, this, I mean, this is literally the spellcaster battle, I guess. Doesn't really seem to look any different. Um, but when I clicked on her, I realized that I can also have my power source be a magic convergence. Does that mean I'm using other fairies as my power source? Is that bad? Is that good? I don't know. <gasps> oh, did I just win my first battle though? No, not yet. And while they're battling at all, I've realized that there's two different skills here. There is fairy magic and there is fairy form. Needs is clearly very good at being a fairy, which we kind of could have seen coming. I won my battle. So my fairy form has now leveled up to nymph. Free-spirited and full of potential, nymph-level fairies are still finding their magical strengths. Nisa should pa practice her fairy magic, win spa sessions and magical battles, and learn more spells and abilities in order to progress her fairy form. So that's pretty awesome. Well done. So this levels up separately to fairy magic. They are two different skills. And fairy form is tied to your core ability rather than your magical skill. So they are two completely separate things. I like that though. And I am going to try this new power source, this magical convergence one. Oh, look, we do it together. Oh, so are we using each other as a magical... Oh, energized. Luna boost. Thanks to the intimate connections with the moon, she feels light wash over her and instantly feel a boost of energy. Nightlight. She has converged her magic with another element and senses the energy of the moon flowing through her. Nisa will experience the benefits of the moon power source as well as some other potential effects. Oh my gosh, I love this because if you had like a coven or whatever as a group like a group activity that you did with the sims then on like a full okay on a full moon you could all like do the magical convergence and get the energy from the moon and then do spells after that so it's really fun like adding the extra bits and i've leveled her up again to mythic so that i can start to actually do some spells now because the spells are all kind of locked behind quite high like fairy levels ah look at this you see the um the leaves so when i go on her even though i've like done that convergence thing with another fairy my power source is still nature. So I'm still using nature as my power source right now. And I have this familiar Mappy, which I guess is the sprite that like initially helped me out. Okay, I'm gonna send her home. But before I do, I will make sure that she represses her fairy magic so that, you know, nobody knows. Nobody can tell what I am because I feel like they would put me in a museum very quickly. So we'll make sure that we're hiding our fairy form and send her home. Okay, so I've sent her home. And, oh no, it's winter and it's snowy. Basically, I wanted to try out some of the other power sources. I'm also realizing that a lot of the part, like, so she's in a fairy form now. If I get her to repress her fairy magic and look normal, then when I go to magic, I don't get to be, able, there's not much I can do. But if I s channel her fairy magic and give her the fairy view look. So I'm gonna have to like make sure no one's watching from that train going by, but. If I select her now, I get way more options. So you need to be like in fairy forms to be able to do this. And I can now draw power from the air or draw power from the ice. So since it's snowing, I thought I would try and gain power from the elements and go for a little bit of an ice power. So this is how it looks when she's drawing from like from the plant. She was like her hands down and were green. Whereas when it's ice, she's like looking to like looking upwards and she's got her hands outstretched like this and we're filling this bar here up again as we did before 
So now we have a different power source. <gasps> oh, and look how cool it looks. We're basically Elsa from Frozen now, and we're now cold-hearted. We've drawn power from ice close to its water power source. This cold state of matters offers an extra layer of strength that is great and will suffice for destruction. Hopefully the cold never bothered Nita as now ice is her source of magic. So I can, of course, now show off my ice powers. Very cool. Uh, but can I do any extra spells? Okay, so I feel like since, you know, I'm now using my power from ice, I should learn Frost Affix. Oh, look at this. We've actually got a fairy at our door. He's not even trying to hide his abilities, is he? But she is in her fairy hand, but now trying to learn her new spell. <gasps> and we've learned the Frost Affix spell. Okay. So now when I go to magic, or do I still use it from this book? Learn spells. How do I do a spell? Is Frost Affix something I have to do in another sim? <gasps> and I've just realized as well that the magical convergence is based on what their power source is. So the other girl's was the moon, but his is um, nature. So if I did it with him, I'd like... It's a different type of power source. Okay. And Frost Affix is manipulate the temperature and moisture around objects. Extinguish fires or cause objects to freeze and break. Ooh. What can I try and break? I'm struggling to find an object I can actually interact with. Okay, here we go. Magic. Okay, I can do it to the sink. And I can do it to the toilet. Right, let's try this out then. Okay, so here is Frost Affix. <gasps> oh! Oh, okay. So it's like the... Okay, it like destroys objects basically. But I can use it to extinguish fires, which is pretty cool. And you can see like the rune appear underneath the toilet before we destroy it. Okay, very cool, very cool. But what else can I learn? Oh, and I'm now an enchanted fae and I've learned Ivy Wrap. Okay, I've got to try that out on somebody. I feel like these spells are the spells from Spellcasters. Unless there's a few in there that you guys think are new. I think a lot of them are the Spellcasters one, but... There is just a bit more depth to it with the Sylvian Glade, with the updated appearance, and also with these three separate skills. So your fairy form dictates your spells and how strong you are. Your fairy magic dictates what spells you can actually learn. And then you also have to have enough fairy XP, like so, to learn new spells and do more magic. So I'm going to try the Ivy Wrap spell on him. Feels kind of mean. I feel like he's come around to say hello and he's cleaning my bathroom and I'm just like practicing magic on him, but I got to see it in action, right? And he's right here, so it kind of makes sense. No. Oh. <gasps> and oh my gosh! Oh, it happened to me instead! <laughs> oh my gosh, the ivy wrapped around my hands instead. And then I couldn't fly anymore. Okay, so that definitely came back to bite me in the butt. Okay, maybe we're having trouble because we're trying to do it on a fairy. So I am going to try and do it... On a mortal instead, we've got Mary Greenberg here. Let's let's try her. Okay, I'm clearly not even trying to be subtle anymore. Just floating around the town as a fairy. And okay, yes, this seems to be working. So, okay, this spell does seem new. At least the 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 leaf animation kind of looks new. And we've got her trapped. Does she just stay like that until I decide to release her? Oh, <gasps> okay, so I can literally trap people with foliage. Okay. I'm literally having a sleep on the park bench behind me. So the sim will stay stuck like this. Oh my gosh, you could kill a sim like this. If you, like, outside in the cold, you, like, made them change out of winter clothes into regular clothes and then trap them like this, they would freeze to death. Okay, let's, let's release her. I don't want to be an evil fairy. Let's go ahead and release her from her trap. There you go. Oh, the animation for it's so cool. There you go. You're now free from your foliage trap. I'm very sorry, but it was fun to watch. And oh man, the temptation to be a, a bit of an evil fairy. It feels kind of strong, but you shouldn't, right? Like just, just cheeky. But then also if you were like a fairy mom and you had fairy kids, which your kids can be fairies with this mod, then you'd be able... Oh look, they're using their power source. She's using ice and he's using nature. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. Okay, I really like that. Then if like your kid is like grounded, you could be like, right, foliage arms for you and just psh, trap them there and then be like, you have to stay, you've got to stay in your room now for an hour. And they're trapped the fairy way. So, you know, you can kind of introduce that into your parent and perhaps. What other spells can I try and learn? Infect plague. Oh. Medusa's glaze. I need magic level 10 or the darkness power source. 
How do I get the darkness power source? So some of the spells will be easier to learn depending on your power source. So, so for this one, because I don't have the darkness power source, I need level 10 magic instead, which is, you know, pretty high. Oh, and look at this. Sana is an ancient enhancement to reduce the severity of illness. That's very cool. And there's also a Sangius vitamin. I want the darkness power source. How do I get it? Or how do I give up my power source? I've been giving up my power source using... Um, oh, did I level up again? I've achieved the ultimate fairy form, I guess because I fought him. Maybe you do get locked into a power source, but I kind of like that because then that means that, you know, the power source that you choose is really important and has a lot of meaning to it. But if you ever did want to do it, you can just cheat it off again. So I am going to remove the current power source that she has. But look, I can, if I click things just around the house, learning new power sources, I can draw power source from electricity or I can draw it from technology, two different power sources again. And if I turn the stereo on, I can draw power source from music. So if you had a fairy that really loved like music or maybe she enjoyed playing the piano, then you can draw your power source from your natural creativity. So I kind of like the idea of making the fairy look like like winks how they kind of look like their power souls especially the technology one but uh, i'm gonna kick it outside just for now because it is midnight so can i oh <gasps> from air from the moon i like the moon one because that's like very much tied with witchcraft isn't it the moon and the different part like the different cycles of the moon and like you know i like that i think that's very cool that's but because it's nighttime, we're gonna draw our power source from darkness. This one feels kinda, I don't know. If you're a dark fairy, does that mean? <gasps> oh, geez, okay. Based on the music, I'm thinking this is, this is kind of, oh, <gasps> my appearance has changed. Okay, so this is bad. That is a bad thing to do to get your power from darkness. This malevolent energy requires a certain kind of person to handle responsibly and has the potential to turn the most pure-hearted fairies into terrifying villains. We have to exercise willpower to ensure we stay in control as darkness is now her main source of magic. <gasps> I love that. If it does extra stuff, like it's hard to stay in control and that kind of thing, then that could be very cool. So I'm um, actually, because I've got an ear infection, I'm going to learn Sana to clear that up because her ears keep puffing out everywhere and it's really annoying her. I guess because the weather's cold, you're probably going to get an ear infection. But then I would like to learn one of the bad spells. So we've got Medusa's Gaze. Use the mere power of sight to entrance another long enough to turn them to stone. That's really cool. Uh, there's also this one. Imbue unsuspecting humans with a truly dark disposition or expose the true, na true nature of the creatures that stalk the night. Ooh. Okay, I kind of want to learn this Medusa's gaze one. But before I do, I am gonna do Sana to get rid of my ear infection. Because, oh, the thing about the darkness, I know it's bad, but it's like got the whole purple color as well. I've gone for purple color scheme to match my hair. So, you know, it's kind of a vibe. I can't lie. And just like that, I've cured myself of sickness. Well done. Although I actually haven't because the ear infection it's from Slice of Life, and apparently the two do not play ball, but I'm going to count that as a cure. And now we find someone to turn to stone. You're still here, Mary? You've honestly, I don't know what you were thinking with this. Why would you stay here after knowing everything that's, that's gone on? Like, you've literally been in this park the night before, and a fairy has trapped you with ivy vines, and you're like, yeah, I'll come back the next day. It'll be totally fine. Oh, hello. <laughs> I am going to try the Medusa's gaze on her now instead. I don't know why poor Mary is the one that we're going with this. But, okay. Oh, I like the music. Oh! Is she dead? <laughs> is that it? If you turn to stone, are you dead? I can't interact with her. If I reset her, does she go back to normal? <laughs> Will the statue of Mary just live here for all time? I don't know. Maybe. It started off all sweet with like, look how cute all this fairiness is. And now I'm like, I will turn my neighbors to stone and trap them forever. 
I went kind of dark with this very fast. But I don't know. It's always more fun being bad. <laughs> Especially when it makes your eyes go cool. And that is a very speedy look through um, of the fairy half of this mod. Now, obviously, there's a lot more to it. You can teach your children. If you have children and they are fairies as well, if you want them to be fairies as well, they can start experimenting with their magic abilities too. It does seem like you're locked in from what I understand with a power source. So obviously picking what your power source is. Feels like it's um, a little bit of a bigger deal than I've made it out here where I've just flicked between them and tried them all. The other thing I've noticed is that your fairy outfit is not weather dependent. So if it's cold, you can still float around like this and your sim will never complain about the cold. They'll never freeze. The fairy form is like weather does not impact them whatsoever. And I can also go back to the Sylvian Glade to be with my fairy brethren at any time by using this as a teleportation device. But of course, this is only one half of the mod. The other half is the new witches, which aren't spellcasters. They are separate. So I thought we would kind of learn more about those in another video and also maybe see what the deal is why it's witches versus fairies if there's any kind of additional options that we get if one of your sims is a witch one of them is a fairy and the way that you um, become a witch is also very cool so i'm looking forward to learning more about that but let me know what you guys think of this mod a lot of it is basically the recycle it's recycled from spellcasters and realm of magic and i think you're probably definitely gonna need realm of magic to make this work i like that it's added like a few extra layers i really like the idea of power sources i like the idea of doing magical convergences with other sims to find out what their power sources are and to make yourself temporarily stronger. So this uh, fairy here uses electricity, which is very cool. I like the fairy form. I like the way that you can choose to not look like a fairy if you're not doing fairy stuff and just behave like a normal sim. Or you can choose to be a fairy and have all the extra cool stuff that goes with it. And after just doing that convergence, I now have zips up for um, six hours. So if you did have a bunch of different fairies with different power sources and they did do the convergence, then they would be able to use each other's power source temporarily, which I just think is really cool. I really like the idea. I like the... If I was doing this, I would definitely like dress them and design them around what their power sources were once they discovered them as children or as like teenagers. And all in all, I feel like if you're a fan of occults or if you're a fan of uh, fairies, then you're probably going to enjoy particularly the new animations and stuff that this mod brings. But also just the fact that it seems to introduce a lot of kind of interesting lore and new features from a fairy point of view so let me know what you guys think of this mod as well i want to know if you guys were a fairy what would your power source be i'm probably gonna go with nature because as you guys know i kind of love plants so i think that's what mine would be but i would love to hear what yours is as well keep an eye out for the witches video because if you guys like this one i will do that one as well and we'll get to see how they interact and i will see you guys in another video thank you so much for watching bye